guys, hope you're having a good day. We are gonna work our abs and we're gonna get right to it. So, lay on your back. Each move we will do for one minute in the first set of exercises. So, right away we have a weighted crunch. You can either use a weight or no weight. We're gonna go in three, two, and go. Pushing your belly button to the floor, keeping your back flat by pulling your pelvis up, just like that. Looking good, keep going. Twenty seconds left. Use your breath, breathe out. Last one. Woo. Very good. All right, we are going to come to our sides. into a nice V on our sides. Okay, we're gonna go for one minute. Ready, set, go. Up. If you're like, ow, my hip hurts, roll backward more onto your glute. You can also take this modification right here. good halfway there keeping your shoulder down you don't want to scrunch up like that keep it nice and down fifteen my legs are getting tired And good. Switch sides for me. Ready, set, go. Make sure you're not wiggling back and forth and that you're keeping yourself nice and tight using that breath. Remember the modifier? Still pretty darn hard, but it works. Our final modifier, if you're really tired today, is to drop that bottom leg down. Scoop, scoop right here. Very good. We have a forearm plank mountain climber. If this is too hard, you can always just do your plank. We're coming down into onto our forearms. Our glutes are tucked in, our stomachs are rolled forward. And here we go. Drive those knees up, push through your shoulder blades, eyes are forward, I don't want to see this, you don't need to see your feet.
15 seconds. Woo. Five, three, two, and one. Woo. Awesome. Sit it back. Come on up. Hip flexor stretch. And switch. Awesome job. We are going to pass a weight in our V-sit. So I'm gonna roll up my mat. So I've got the boniest tailbone in the world. You're gonna lean back, point your toes out to the sides of the room. Make sure you don't hit anything. Ready, set, go. Reach, straight arm, and back. Usually I'd recommend using a lighter weight for this, but this is the lightest we have. So, it's a party. you really want to work extra hard, you can raise those legs. Five. Three. Last one. Woo! My arms. The tad. All right. Three more moves, guys. We have leg lift crosses. So we're gonna come down here, pull the pelvis up, flatten the back to the mat, legs come straight out, and you're going to crisscross up and down. Let's go. To make it easier, place your hands under your glutes, harder, lift yourself up. Stay nice and tight here. It's easy to get wobbly with it, but we want you to stay tight. scissors now nice and slow and then we have one more move so ready set go one two ease your option hands are underneath your glutes second option they're out to the sides third your hands are behind your head and you're lifted Need to do some yoga my hips are super tight so what I want you to aim for is to get all the way up nice and straight but if you're tight like me today just go as high as you can speed them up the last 15 seconds 
count them down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Very good. We have one last move in this ab circuit. We have good old tried and true bicycles. You want to bring your knee and your elbow right across the midline of your stomach. You don't want to bring one more forward or back than the other. So, modifications, you just lift your legs or crunch up. Ready, set, let's go. Now I don't want to see this, okay? What is that? We need to slow it down, be deliberate in our movements, focus, crunch one last time for one full minute. Ready, set, go. Stay up with it. I'm really tight in my shoulders today. I want you to try to get as high as you can off the mat, but I can't. Woo, slow me down. Keep going. All right, five seconds. Speed them up. Four. Three, two, one, and down. Very good. Hope your abs felt it. I felt it. Have a great day. Why?